Hello folks, and this is Kiki. Uh, doing another episode of Farman Team Assault. Uh, this t the mission is City Tour, where you are to find the uh, Tan Army's uh, things and some code information to uh, see if we can win the war here. Uh, but we have to make we have to check to see if it's in the city center or if it's in the palace. Uh, Tyke is our main guy for this mission. So this will be Tyke's mission. And Shadow is there just for this because we need a filler. Uh, this mission has a lot of noob traps to it. Uh, I think it's about three or four noob traps. And two auto lose conditions. Uh, so you have to so, so we'll go ahead and walk through everything, and I'll show you the new traps and everything else too. Right here is the first noob trap. Yes, folks, your spawn is a noob trap. Isn't that sad? Also, as you can see, our partner actually shoots. Not very well, but he shoots. Uh, so just if people were curious if your buddy actually shoots or not, they do shoot. They just shoot very, very slowly. Anyway, our first step here is to clear out the way. Uh, this here is our safety area. And we'll be using that for our safety area for the first few minutes of this mission. You'll see why in a second. But we have to kind of clear our way out here. Now that uh, Shadow is in a safe spot for right now, we'll move up Tyke. And this will cause another trigger. pick up the and it says no I'm not explosive expert it's okay and you'll notice that Shadow had a spawn there and then you notice that Tyke had a marker there that basically means that there's something around Shadow that Tyke noticed uh, that something might have been en engaging Tyke so it kind of gives the player a heads up to say hey I'm being targeted you need to switch to my player real quick now you notice that there's a brown door here also knows there's an explosive, and there will be, soon be another uh, bazooka there that spawn there. They're infinite, so they're an infinite spawn. And we also notice there's this steel door here. That gives you two routes into the city, and notice they respawn again. That's why I said for the first few minutes. Oh, and look, there's two enemies right where we spawned in. See, told you. There's a new trap right there. Didn't believe me, did you? Anyway, like I said, for the first few minutes, we're just going to be hanging around here, giving Tyke a lot of uh, bazooka ammo, and killing off the people who go into our spawn. Uh, while it seems tedious and a little bit boring, it is kind of necessary just to make sure that nothing jumps us and that we can resume the mission safe and sound. But now that Tyke has uh, six bazooka shots, we'll go ahead and open up this wooden door here. If you had explosives, you can blow up the steel door with it. And all it does is it affects the spawns for which direction they spawn in. Let's see if the bazookas spawn up again. No, oh, they haven't yet. So now we just kind of you notice that they'll be shooting. Shooting at Tyke, general direction of that door. But let's go ahead and keep waiting and see if that bazooka ammo shows up yet. And just in case you guys were wondering, no, the bazooka does not break, break that uh, steel door. See? So you have to use explosives for it. But anyway. Our bazookas have respawned again, and every time that the bazookas respawn, the tans back there respawn. So we'll go ahead and kill them off quick. You notice that they're both uh, semi autos versus uh, single shots. Anyway, now that we got some six bazookas, we'll go ahead and get that ready. Shoot the wall there, kills one of them. And then we'll just nudge our way here. Roll into the doorway. We didn't get a line, so we're line up again. Roll in, double roll. There you go. Roll back out. Make sure nothing's 
behind us. Now, if you blew up the other door, the enemies would have been in the middle and in the side, versus if you blew up this door, they'd only be in one direction. But we aren't done yet, unfortunately. Uh, see, they still keep spawning, so we have to gradually kind of kill in every spawner as we go along. And there's a jeep. You'll notice auto-aim fails here. For whatever reason, auto-aim fails. Notice that at least one of those shots was, flew directly above the jeep. Uh, kind of annoying, isn't it? But there's a secondary way. There's actually two different ways you can kill that jeep. Uh, the first way is you can machine gun the jeep. The second way is if you had brought an explosives expert rather than a sniper, uh, you can use landmines, which are right there, and you can park it in front of the jeep's route. As you notice, the jeep is making another pass. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you again that the auto aim fails. As you can see, it shot right over the jeep. So we'll just use a machine gun here and run it. kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, we didn't kill it that pass. We'll get it next pass. Like I said, those, uh, it looks like we got the Jeep. So, we had to move on from here. Now, now we're going to be focusing our attention to this corner here, where I'm shooting at now. Uh, this is going to ne be the next tidy spot, and yeah, that prompt is going to show up a lot because Tyke isn't an explosive expert. And there's landmines there. A little bit annoying, but... Anyway, you'll notice that the level splits two directions. One way is to the right here, uh, the t to the city center, and one way is to the left, which is to the palace. Also notice that this, there's some statues with some plaques on them, but you can't read the plaques. And I'll show you that later. But right now, let's go ahead and move up Shadow. You notice they stopped spawning there because we're inside now and whatnot. And we'll go ahead and pick up some sniper here. Use the sniper to clear our way out. We'll go to the right first to show you our first, I mean, our second noob trap. This level is actually rather free roaming, and actually is a pretty fun level. This is kind of like the Sarge's Heroes uh, level one sort of thing, where you can you can go different routes and different directions, and depending upon which way you go, triggers different spawns. Uh, so this this kind of has a Sarge uh, Heroes one feel to it, if you're into that sort of thing. Also expect ambushes. Uh, we'll come up here, and you'll notice that as we turn to the left here, there's a guy that oh, sends spawn on us. And there is also a quick med kit. Let's go ahead and make sure all these explosive things are locked out. And go ahead, okay. And more bazooka ammo. So this is Shadow's hiding spot for the rest of the level. We're done with Shadow from here on. So our main main attention here is Tyke. Let's go ahead and pick up the bazooka for him. But we'll go ahead and get the freshly spawned bazooka first. As you notice, see, like I said, they only spawn like about two or three times, and then after that, go ahead. Minor glitch there. But yeah, they only spawn maybe four or five times, like, sorry, three or four times, and then that's it. You're done. So, you could put, you can put Shadow back there, but I generally prefer to put Shadow right here. Because nothing definitely spawns here. 